theory of equation. Maybe this chapter is little bit scary. Maybe this chapter is little bit boring. This chapter may be little bit time consuming. But this chapter is scoring. You see, in this chapter, I will be focusing the entire video is divided into two parts. Talk part one. In part one, I will be focusing on some of the advanced quadratic equations format. Okay, how to form the quadratic and how to do the advanced analysis and some unusual prospects I will tell you. And then in the second part, I will solve some of the questions based on the assumptions and the formulas and the shortcuts I will be sharing with you. Okay, now here I am assuming that you know the basic part of ax square plus bx plus c, the sum of the roots is minus b by a, product of the roots is c by a. So I won't be uh, commenting on that part. So this video is mainly based on the advanced analysis which will be useful for the examination perspective. Okay, and for the advanced examination, so let me start with this fx equal to ax square plus bx plus c. It's a simple quadratic equation. Now, how many? The first question is how many equations are needed to solve a quadrant? How many equations you need? Just by seeing this, you can say, okay, Sajeev, we have to find A, B, and C, so we need at least three equations. At least three number of equations, number of unknowns. So if I say only one equation is enough, how? Because even fx equal to ax square is a quadratic equation. This is the general form, so this is also a quadratic form. So here, just by putting fx equal to 3, if it is given, so just by utilizing, sorry, f3 equal to 4 is given, so just by utilizing that, you can find the value of A and it is the entire quadratic. So quadratic is not about ABC always, it may be about A. But remember that if A equal to 0, then it is no longer a quadratic. So you can solve it. Okay. So this is the first part. Now, I will be focusing on the type of diagram a quadratic equation is represented by. So a general quadratic is nothing but a parabolic curve. It is represented by a parabolic curve, so which looks like this. Okay, so this is the general equation of fx equal to ax square plus bx plus c. Now this is a point. Let this point be a. What will be the coordinate of the point? What will be the coordinate of the point that is very much needed? It is minus b by 2a and 4ac minus b square by 4a. This you need to remember for the competitive examination, the coordinate of this particular point is very much needed. So this is the x coordinate, so this part is minus b by 2a, and this is the y coordinate, which is the thing by minus 4b squared by 4a. This is the point like 0, comma this, and this is this comma 0. So this gives you this idea. Okay? So this is and we know that the discriminant is b square minus 4ac. The discriminant is b square minus 4ac. So this is the first part. Now I will be going to the second part where it's a very basic type of questions they will be giving that conditions. There are some questions based on conditions. Condition based question is type 1. Condition find the condition that condition that the roots of this quadratic equation, the roots of this quadratic equation lies between both the roots lies b less than a real number k. Condition that both roots less than k. What will happen if both the roots are less than k? There is a simple way to check it. If this happens, so the condition 1 is g greater than 0, that is a discriminant. Then b square greater than 4ac, then k greater than minus b by 2a, k greater than minus b by 2a, and the third part, and the third part is a of f k has to be greater than 0. A of f of k has to be greater than 0. So k is the value you put it in the equation, and if it is greater than 0 after product, multiplying the coefficient of the square term in a quadratic equation, you get the answer. So this is the basic part. This is the basic part on which you have to focus. Next, I will be going there conditions. 
condition two. Condition for a number two lie between the roots of a quaternion equation. Okay. Next is condition that a root lies between condition that a value. lies between roots of a quaternary equation how to do this thing how to do this thing when they give you this for example this time the value is again k the value is again k so this time it will be a greater than 0 d greater than 0 and a of f k less than 0 or a less than 0 d greater than 0 and a of f k greater than 0 so this is a dual combination of relationship it's a dual combination of relationships which we are going to be focusing so you see it's a mixture of these two either this will happen or this so if you need a common formula again so the common formula on these two will be a into Okay, a into fk, if I am going to a into fk, for that just one part, so this a is not I am introducing, so a common condition a into fk is obviously less than 0 because here it is greater, here it is less, here it is less, here it is greater, so combining these two, one condition and the second condition is d greater than 0, so these are your two conditions in order to find that the number k lies between the roots of a quadrant. So now this part is done. So now we are going for another part called conditions that both the roots of a quaternary equation lie between an interval. Both the roots, condition 3, both roots to lie between k1 to k2, where k1 less than k2. Okay, so now I have two different values. So if in within these two they are lying, then what will be the condition? This condition is just like the previous one. One is d greater than zero again. Second is f of k1 greater than zero, f of k2 greater than zero. So these two part is very easy and common. But the next class is k1 less than minus b by 2a less than k2. So one, this is two, and this is. 3. So this is 1, this is 2 and the last one is 3. So this is called a simple structure that the both the roots lie between a format. In general in the graduation books in your class 11, 12, this kind of formulas are not given. Okay. So now some more formulas are coming. Conditions that a quadratic equation have a repeated root. A repeated root. What is the formula of repeated root? This I haven't done before. Repeated root formula is For example, repeated root Repeated root, most of the cases you have seen it like e square minus 4c by 2a Okay, but if I don't introduce that and the equation root is x square plus bx plus c and the root is maybe alpha then f alpha has to be greater than 0 f alpha is 0 the rule of mission is f alpha is 0 and even f dash alpha is also 0. So this is the two condition very important. f alpha and the differentiation of alpha. Now you can ask me, uh, differentiating is what? Well, obviously with respect to alpha, if you are doing it. Okay, so if you are differentiating with respect to x this thing, what is f dash x? f dash x is 2a x plus b. So f dash alpha is 2a alpha plus b this thing is 0 so that is alpha equal to minus b by 2a and in the first case also if you solve it you will find the same thing okay so this is the problem of repeated real root and now coming to the condition that a quadratic equation have a common root two equations now till now one equation two roots now what happens if two equations are given two equations are given let me write two equations first type 5 so this time you have two equations two equations 
have two equations have same root, have a common root. Two equations have a common root. What will happen? Let the equations be ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero and a dash x squared plus b dash x plus c dash equal to zero. A dash x plus b dash x squared plus c dash equal to zero. If these are the two equations. Then the condition is a dash c minus a c dash whole squared. A dash c minus a c dash whole squared. This part. Let's focus on this. A dash c and a c dash whole squared. And then b c dash minus b dash c. b c dash minus b dash c. And then a b dash minus a dash b. So if the equality of these uh, three different terms are followed, then only we can say the structure is following the format of two equations have a common root, otherwise it is not possible. Okay? Otherwise it is not possible. And what happens if the roots are same? What happens if the roots are same? Have a common now two conditions for two quadratic equations to have the same root. Okay? the same root and the uh, common root is a little bit different okay so there is another process of finding that if a by a dash equal to b by b dash equal to c by c dash then also two equations have uh, same root so the two equations are having the same root if this kind of condition is being followed. So if these kind of conditions are followed, and now we are now proceeding to solve the advanced problem, and that is called equations of higher degree. Equations, equations of higher degree. What will happen in the equation of higher degree? This one will be of our type six. Now, what happens if the equation is not restricted to a cubic pattern? If the equation is not restricted to a cubic pattern and it is graduating to a very high level of pattern, then what will happen? The happening part is, for example, then the sum of the roots or the product of the roots will be changing in the different pattern. For example, the equation is a cubic equation. As a new standard, so So, in order to find it, we need a sum of the roots and double product. So, there are need, actually we need three different equations and the three different equations will be alpha plus beta plus gamma, but these are the roots, minus b by a, then alpha, beta, beta, gamma, alpha, gamma equal to c by a, then alpha, beta, gamma equal to minus d by a. In this way, if the equation is ax is 4 plus bx is q plus cx is square plus dx plus e equal to 0, then the sum of the roots that is alpha plus beta plus gamma plus delta minus b by a. Then you take the product of 2 alpha beta, alpha gamma, alpha delta, beta gamma, beta delta, gamma delta equal to c by a. Then you take a combination of 3. It is alpha beta gamma, alpha beta this, and last is alpha beta gamma and delta equal to uh, e by a with a plus. So minus plus minus plus. So this is the type of pattern for higher level of degree of equations. Okay. So this is a basic pattern we will be following for all the quadratic and now, uh, some of the questions which obviously being followed, okay, in our next video we will be following some of the part, in the second part as I have told in the beginning of the video, this will find in the subscription section, in the other videos which is being shown in this side of the screen, okay, this is the side of the screen where you can see, and in the below side you can see our subscription part, please do it and visit our website, showbosarsclasses.com, thank you.